Hello my friends, how are you doing? Today on our artistic journey I'm going to show you a more advanced technique for double exposure. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Thank you for that, let's get started. Also, if you're new to my channel, I have a Facebook community where I do a weekly exercise and this week of course it is double exposure. Check out the link below the video, you can create your own version and I will review it in my next live stream for this exercise. Thank you and let's get started. So the only thing we need here is a picture of a head of course and in this case picture of a landscape. Of course you can combine any two pictures you want. So the first thing we need to do here is to remove the background of the head which in this case is easily done with our selection brush tool here found on the left side. So move over the areas around the edges to select that. Stay inside of the head of course for the selection tool to work. So that is pretty easy, you can see pretty fast. There we go, this missed a little bit of that edge, that's okay. We can fix it later on. So you go like this around the head and then of course also through the inside of the head, let's make our brush a little bit bigger for the inside, there we go. Okay, we covered that. Now we click on refine to give it a second chance. You can see up here in the hair could do a little bit better. So adjust your brush size. The smaller the brush, the more precise the selection. So I will go over these edges and now you paint exactly on the edge compared to before. This is where this is selecting and refining the edge area. So that's pretty important. Do it like that. All right. So that's okay. You can see it did a better job. Up here on these areas in the face, I would say you go and do this afterwards because the selection brush, the refinement tool isn't great at these areas. So let's apply this. You can see we have created a selection and with our layer selected, the only thing we need to do now is to click on mask and you can see now we have a mask. Control D on the keyboard to deselect and then zoom in here to the areas that are not that great. Select your paintbrush and then you can put it to either black or white to hide elements or make them visible. So I want to make my brush smaller, give it a harder edge like that. And then I can use, for example, white. So you can see I can paint in areas here that I think I want to have. You can even paint over it like that and then go with black to the other direction to remove parts you don't want to have. And so this is an easy and fast way to refine some of the areas that are more complicated for the selection tool to actually understand. But of course, for you, that is super easy peasy. So as you can see here, We have a beautiful selection of this head now. We want to check out our landscape and see how we can combine that with the face to set it to the opacity maybe 50% or a little bit higher so you can see it well. And then we will zoom out here a little bit, resize that. We can even rotate that because it doesn't matter too much the uh, orientation as long as it fits your artistic purposes. And you can see here we have this shape that follows basically the outline of the face. So that's pretty good for us. And here on the left side we have some clouds that we afterwards want to come out of the head. So that's pretty nice for us. So now I can set it back to 100%. I'm going down to the mask we have created before and then I right click to duplicate that and drag it up onto my sky layer. And so you can see now the sky is inside of the head. Now we have to do three more things. We have to find a fitting background. Then we have to bring in the face from the right side a little bit and we have to extend the clouds on the left side a little bit. Good. So the way to do that is first of all we're gonna do a duplicate our head. So click on the head layer, duplicate that and bring it up on the top here like so. And also I'm going to right click rasterize and trim. So this turns into a pixel layer without a mask on it. Good. The next thing we're going to do is set this to lighten. So it only adds the lighter parts of the face. 
Now what we want to have is a soft blend. Now the mask in Affinity Photo often is kind of gives strange kind of effects when you do a gradient blend on that. So I'm going to use another technique here. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to duplicate our landscape layer. So right click duplicate and then also I'm going to set this to rasterize trim so right click rasterize trim so again we only have a pixel layer here let's call it face blend i will now turn off the layer in the background with the landscape and i will use my eraser brush tool make it nice and big soft hardness 100 percent opacity so now i can go in here and go over my face and remove areas that i don't want to have let's go back here actually make our brush bigger so we have a softer gradient here you can see this will delete now the areas from our face blend layer and it gives us a very soft very nice um gradient blend here also down here where the neck area is like that okay so that's pretty beautiful that's pretty okay the way we want that now we can turn on the layer in the background and we can then paint in the mask here or actually we don't need really the layer in the background so we can leave that out altogether make it a little bit simpler actually i will again duplicate the layer in the background and i will go in here and delete the mask delete like that and then with that layer selected hold the alt key on your keyboard and click on the mask icon this will give you an inverted mask so now we don't see anything of that right now because we have to paint that in and i will rename this layer here into clouds so this is going to be our clouds uh, make it visible of course we don't see anything of that yet uh, we have to now take our paintbrush on the left side and make it nice and big like so all right and now you can see our layer mask is black so that means to make things visible we need to choose the color white and now we can simply paint on this and you can see uh-huh i'm gonna see my clouds where i need them okay very nice i can paint this in this is just a mask that so can change that later on not a problem so at this point we want to decide on the background color of our picture so for that down here rectangle tool i click and drag a rectangle over all of my background and we want to replace now it has a gradient on it we don't need that i click up here on fill and down here is the color picker up here in the corner click and drag this and select the color of the background you like for example this one and then click again to apply it to our uh, rectangle good we can put the rectangle completely into the background behind all the other layers like so and you can now see that our clouds beautifully start to blend with the background so we want to go back to our clouds layer to the mask and now zoom in here a little bit take our paintbrush again and then we can go black and white again to make things visible or hide them so let's make this a little bit smaller here we want to hide these areas that's good uh, we might want to hide this there's a little bit of hair don't worry about that I will fix that in a second so this is also good here let's hide these parts here we don't need that too much up here we don't need that all right over here i think we want to go like this it looks a little bit strange but i will fix that in a second you will see we will apply some more magic here um so this already looks pretty cool uh only that part is not so nice so i will delete these parts also a little bit good okay so to fix these areas here little secret sauce here i will make a pixel layer below my clouds layer and then i will choose the background colors you see up here for colors we have also color picker click and drag select the background color click again so now it's my brush color so i can now take the brush again select that brush color and then i can simply paint in here and this paints over my area here for the background 
For some reason, I'm still seeing some of the hat. That is not ideal. Let's see. That's because this layer is on top and the cloud layer is behind that. So that shouldn't be the case. So we want to put the face blend layer behind all of this. And now if I paint on my pixel layer, I can see that this is hiding these areas. There's a little bit of stuff in here. So we want to get back into our clouds layer and hide these areas here. Good, go back to our pixel layer with the brush, paint out these areas. It's maybe a bit too much, let's see. Let's go like that, so that looks pretty okay. Good, like so. Okay, so now that we have created that, what I want to do is click on the clouds layer, right click, duplicate that, and then again, right click on that duplicate that we have just created and click rasterize and trim. So this will turn it simply into a pixel. I can see now I have the clouds just like that. And I can set them now, for example, to lighten. So this will also make these other areas a little bit more transparent. And I can resize them. And now I can, for example, put them down here where I say, hey, I want to have a little bit more clouds down here. So that should be nice. Good. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just taking my eraser. That is way too big, by the way, at the moment and then just erase the parts we don't need like that to blend it with the background so that we have done that also here this isn't too nice so we want to adjust i think i'm gonna go in here this little cogwheel for blend ranges and then use my blend ranges to remove these areas like so that is pretty good all right so next thing is hold control click and drag to make a copy of that and then simply turn that around and put this up here onto our head where before we had this kind of not so cool not so fun edge so we want to put this here and maybe take our eraser to delete these parts here so only this part up there is sticking out a little bit and i think i even want to go a little bit further let's resize that Rotate that back over. Ah, that's pretty cool. All right. So basically we are done. You can see this is fun. It's easy. You can go and be really creative with that. Take part in the weekly exercise. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. See you in my next videos. And if you like these videos, want to see more of them, maybe subscribe. Also join my Facebook group where you have all these exercises and the community and all the cool stuff in there. See you soon. Thank you very much. Bye.